Welcome to the Tepper School of Business Multimedia Series. For more information on the Tepper School at Carnegie Mellon, please visit us at www.tepper.cmu.edu slash multimedia. And now, here's your selected video. Uh, our program began in 1994, which makes us the oldest program of its kind. Uh, it began when Sanjay Srivastava in the business school uh, approached John Lahosky in the statistics department and me in the mathematics department and proposed that to meet the infrastructure needs of the financial services industry, we should create a quantitative professional program. Uh, John and I, although not in a business school, were already active in research in quantitative finance, and I think that put Carnegie Mellon in a unique position to create such a program, and the program we created uh, is, involves permanent faculty. Uh, we use practitioners, but the primary activity of the program is driven by permanent faculty uh, in mathematics, statistics, the business school, and information technology. Uh, so the uniqueness of the program uh, derives from the fact that it involves faculty in four different departments. Uh, who are deeply committed to the program in terms of designing the curriculum, making admissions decisions, promoting the programs among potential employers. Uh, in addition, we have the use of the business school uh, placement office, which proves invaluable in difficult economic times. Uh, what the program is designed to do is to fill a wide variety of quantitative needs in the financial services industry. And we find our students taking jobs in sales and trading at investment banks, but they also take jobs in strategy and structuring and risk management. Some of them develop financial analytics. Some of them are going to asset uh, management firms. Some of them are going to hedge funds. Some are going to consulting firms. So geographically, uh, the largest percentage end up in New York City. Uh, after that, uh, London would be probably the second place where we have most of our alumni. Uh, and then in the U.S., we find them going to Boston. Uh, some are going to San Francisco. Those who go with consulting firms or boutiques can be anywhere in the country. Uh, and then internationally, uh, the strongest employers are in Singapore and Hong Kong. Uh, we have students who come from uh, Tokyo and are sponsored by their bank, and those typically return to Tokyo. In difficult economic times, it's very important to choose a high quality program uh, that has a good reputation. Uh, our program has been around since 1994, uh, so we are the, both the oldest and the largest, and we're well known among the potential employers. We have a big alumni base, and our uh, students have access to these alumni when they're trying to find their own jobs. Uh, this year, which is the most difficult we've seen since inception, uh, we have a class that graduates in December 2008, and uh, here at the middle of December, 68% of those have job offers. Uh, a number of firms that we're talking to have told us to check back with them after the first of the year uh, when they get new budgets. Interviewing is still going on, and so I'm very hopeful that despite the difficult conditions and the layoffs, that we're going to have very high placement. Uh, we provide that information to prospective students on our website. So as soon as the placement season is finished on our website, you can read uh, how it turned out for us uh, this year with our December 2008 graduating class. Again, my point of emphasis is that if you're considering a program, particularly now, you want to be sure about the quality and the reputation of that program. Our program is very challenging. And for the students who go through it, they form a strong bond. Uh, that happens both in Pittsburgh and New York, and we see that. Uh, these students who have gone through a very difficult and challenging program uh, stick together through the rest of their lives. And when we have our alumni gatherings, and we have one each year in New York, uh, we discover that these students have been in touch uh, throughout the year. So they're coming to see each other again, but it's not like they haven't been in touch. Uh, and that's one of the things that I find quite nice about the program is that the students are keeping in touch with each other and we're keeping in touch with them as well.
first of all, there's been a contraction, uh, and we're seeing an ongoing contraction, in fact, in financial services because of a, a bubble that was built around asset-backed securities. Um, but I think it's important to remember that in a free market, we're always going to need some process by which money that is to be invested is going to be matched with places where it can be productive. And even in mortgage-backed securities, which are the cause of the current crisis, we're going to have a need for uh, people who need to borrow money for their mortgages to find people who are willing to lend it. Uh, the financial services industry over the last 30 years has created a variety of innovative products. Uh, most of these require, require quantitative modeling, uh, statistical analysis. Uh, underlying the financial services industry, that trend is going to continue. And I think once we work through the present crisis, we're going to see that continuing underlying growth for quantitative finance. Thank you.